with us. Do SW Tag Team Titles. See, I said do instead of you. My name's Sly. I got Marcus Knight up here with me. Jingles is on sabbatical or something. I don't know where he's at. Probably taking a well-deserved break after that shot he took from Corey Williams a couple weeks ago. In the ring here, we've got Void and Matt Corbain. Void, an extremely well-trained technical wrestler here. Probably one of the best technical wrestlers in the mid-state area right now. He's working over Matt Corbain. And Void's regular tag team partner, Tim Ernesto, unable to make it. Filling in in his place tonight is Hot Rod Biggs, who you saw earlier as he and Ryder won that battle royale for the TV title. Now in the ring, Matt Corbain just working over Void here with an Irish whip into a drop kick as Void goes down. Corbain not wasting any time, goes right to work on Void. Yeah, from what I understand, Renesto's down in Florida enjoying the sunny beaches. You know, knowing Renesto, it's more like he's down there looting houses after Hurricane Ivan went through. I was, was going to say, Florida isn't exactly the place to be if you want the beach right now. But then again, it is Renesto we're talking about. He is missing a couple screws up top. Now Void tags in Hot Rod Biggs, and Biggs with a huge elbow there to Matt Corbain. Biggs not wasting any time either. As he goes up and down with an elbow drop. Only a two count. Rod was not able to capture the titles with that one. He tags in a member of Booty Call. Little double team action there on Matt Corbain. Now we've got some singles action as Turner able to get Corbain by himself. Now Corbain turns it with a huge clothesline there, goes for the pinfall, one, two, and Void comes in to break it up. Ricky okay. Bell quickly admonishing Void, though, for not having the legal tag. Got to ask you, Marcus, is this an elimination match, or is it first one that gets the pin, takes on the titles? You know, actually, I don't know about that one. I do believe it is the first one pin gets the titles. Booty call, of course, last week being propositioned by the goddess Athena saying if they don't bring home the gold they're not going to be uh, they're not going to be allowed to see her anymore they're going to be sleeping on the couch is what she told them so based on that vantage point booty call might actually have the the, the, the the more drive to win it here of course all three of these teams like having gold around their waist all three of these teams no strangers to gold themselves either well the reason I was asking about the rules of this match because if it's first team tagged, you got to think the best strategy would not would be basically not to tag in anybody other than your partner. You keep your guy in there, you got an opportunity to win. Absolutely here. As Kevin Dunn goes to work on Turner, Turner gets dropped by that suplex. Two count, Hot Rod Biggs in to make the save there. Rod don't want anybody else to take those titles home. You're going to see a lot of Rod out there if Rod's on his game tonight. Irish whip by Kevin Dunn. Reversed by Brian Turner. Dunn comes off the rope with a leg lariat that drops Turner right to the mat. Coming straight off the ropes with that, too. And tag made into Matt Corbain. Corbain wanting Turner to brought a little closer here. Corbain's got something in mind. Springboard, moonsault. Split-legged moonsault off the top turnbuckle. Only a two-count, though, as Void comes in to make the save. You know, we saw it out of his tag team partner, Rod, just a second ago. Now we see it out of Void. They don't want anybody to take home those titles except themselves. That's going to hurt in any textbook. Brian Turner just low blows Corbain as Corbain was attempting a high-risk maneuver there. Now Corbain's going to get worked over here. Turner holding him back, and that's a quadruple team. Brian Turner and Hot Rod Biggs, and now it looks like they're going to do a double team here. Corbain goes down hard to the mat. Morrow comes off the rope. Drops that leg right across the chest of Matt Corbain, and in comes Void. He's not biased. He'll break up the tag on anybody that's in there other than him and Rod. I think Morrow took a little bit of exception to that. Well, for a while there, all, all, both of those teams, Void, Biggs, Turner and Morrow were able to kind of do some quadruple teaming here on the Youngbloods, and now Morrow's got Corbain locked in the corner with a couple of forearms to the face as Void's holding him back. And in comes Rod, series of kicks to the chest of Matt Corbain, and then Void just drops him right across that top rope. Guillotine maneuver there from Void, and now Morrow, after being admonished by Ricky Bell, 
makes the tag into Void. Corbain's got to be hurting. He's got to be just knocked a little loopy after that series that he just took. Once again, you see these guys tagging in somebody other than their partner in this match. I'm telling you, if it was me and you in there fighting and we was taking on one of these teams, well, first of all, I probably would never tag you in anyway, but if I had to tag somebody in, it would be you. Now, now, now wait a minute. Between the two of us here, uh, I'm not going to get into it. And now Void's got a, got a stretch maneuver there on Corbain, wrenching the shoulder out of socket. Corbain showing the heart of a champion, showing why the young bloods are such young champions here. Corbain able to get to the ropes. Smart thinking on the part of Brian Turner. Come out there, jerk the arm of Void out, took out the, the bridge. Had no choice but to fall and break that submission hold. Another double underhook suplex there from Void. Void tags in Hot Rod Biggs. Fist to the forehead of Corbain, now choking him on the ropes. Irish whip sends Corbain into the opposite side. Corbain comes over, sunset flip. Rod's going over. One, two, three, four, five. More Got than a enough six there. count there before Void comes in and breaks it up. More than enough there, but Ricky Bell was distracted. His booty call was coming in. Corbain had the gold, had the pinfall there. Now, now Hot Rod Biggs locks in a sleeper hold here on Corbain. Well, we saw a submission hold earlier out of this team of Rod and Void when Void was had it broken up by Brian Turner. This time, however, Matt Corbain fights it up. Fights out of it himself, and Rod just sent him on an express ride to the concrete. Now not only is he down on the concrete, but he is laying prone to booty call. It looks like Dan's coming off the apron with an elbow drop. Dan hard on the concrete, rolling Corbain back in. Kevin Dunn was trying to come to the rescue of his tag team partner there. Now a pinfall attempt by Biggs, broken up by Brian Turner. Turner with these hit and miss movies. Hit, hit and miss maneuvers of this. I can't talk. Making sure that nobody except Booty Call is going to get the win. Seeing the same thing out of Rod and Void when impossible for them. And you can hear it now. The crowd very much behind Matt. It's Matt with a flying crossbody. He's got the pinfall. That's three, four, five. Void comes in. Ricky Bell still distracted. Void now taking over where his partner left off. Now Void, that master of all those technical submission holds, has Corbain locked in. Now watching from this vantage point, I've got to wonder, what's gonna, what is it going to take for one of these teams to win? Because you don't only have to tag one member of one team, you've got to keep two members of a third team from coming in there and interfering with the match to, to basically keep the pins from happening. What you said, that was confusing to me, and I'm sitting here watching it. Basically, if Team A wants to beat Team B, they got to watch Team C. That algebraic equation stuff never worked for me. But right now in the ring, we've got Hot Rod Biggs working over Corbain. Corbain's been in for a long time. He's been beaten. He's been brutalized. He's got to be worn out out there. He desperately needs to make a tag to his partner. Yeah, Hot Corbain Rod has been in there a long time, like you said. And I'm not sure, but I think I see members of Booty Call and Boyd and Rod. That they're all drooling at the thought of just... Possibly pulling out a win here. That's it. Referee Ricky Bell has lost all control here. There was a tag made, but Ricky Bell didn't see it. Now all four members, Void, Biggs, Morrow, and Turner, working over Corbain. This could spell the end for the Youngblood's short tag team reign here. Kevin Dunn finally going back out to the apron. Referee Ricky Bell turns around and all looks normal. Now Void back in, working over an already brutalized Matt Corbain. Corbain's just been taken out, taken to the trash here, taken out to the tool shed, beaten like a redheaded stepchild. But he still hasn't tapped out. He still hasn't submitted. He hasn't su suffered a pinfall yet, showing the heart of a champion here. As Morrow comes up top, misses with the leg drop, though, as Corbain able to have the sense of mind to roll out of the way. You almost got to think Corbain working on instinct there, barely got out of the way. Corbain's working on instinct and adrenaline at this point. Desperately needs to get over there and tag in his partner. Morrow is tagged in Turner 
And Turner just put an end to Court Bain's run toward the corner. And again, they're going to work on the neck and arms of Matt Corbain that Void, Biggs, Turner, and Morrow have so very smartly here gone to work on. They've, they've shown a pretty good strategy here of isolating the young bloods and just working them over. But a reversal from Corbain. That winded Brian Turner and maybe the opportunity that Corbain needs to get back to the corner. Corbain trying to get to his corner. Uh, Turner tags in Hot Rod Biggs, and now Biggs and, and, and Corbain going at it as Corbain unable to make the tag. Honestly, I think that Turner just tagged in anybody at that point to keep Matt Corbain from getting over there and tagging in his partner. And now an Irish whip from Hot Rod Biggs. Biggs goes for the splash. Corbain working that instinct again, moves out of the way. He's too tired. He's too beat up. He can't even stand under his own power now. Rod all caught up in the ropes in that corner as all three members of Booty Call and Boyd. Dunn able to get tagged in here, and Dunn comes in like a house on fuego. So he's taking out members of Booty Call. He's taking out Hot Rod Biggs. He's taking out Void. Dunn is a one-man wrecking machine now. Corbain up to his feet, working over Hot Rod Biggs. Booty Call and Void still getting their, their butts handed to him here by Kevin Dunn. And now Turner's turned on Void. This is it. This is absolute chaos. Ricky Bell has lost all control in the ring. But you notice that now that Booty Call is battling with Void, that has given the team of the Youngbloods an opportunity to work on Rod. Booty Call is thinking maybe we got the shot at Void while we got it. Now the enforcer is out to the ringside here. The enforcer not sure what to do in here. By his side is that that bizarre El Loco Uno here. And that's a three count. We As Kevin Dunn count. able to pin Void, Youngbloods are going to retain. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still your USWO Tag Team Champions, Kevin Dunn, Matt Corbain, the Youngbloods.